In this video tutorial, we are going to design the transfer fork in Fusion 360. So first of all, we have to change the units. So go to the browser under the document setting. Units are in millimeter, but we needed units in inches. So click here to change the units and inches. Press OK. Now the units are in inches. We are working in in inch units. So create sketch. Go to create tab and create the sketch now the three plane will be here you have to select a plane so for me we are going to select this front plane so select the front plane the front plane will be normal to us if it's not like that in a isometric view or in another view you can select here on this front because we are making this sketch on the front plane so select this cube the front and it will be normal to you now we are going to make a sketch but first we are going to make the half sketch and then we use the mirror mirror that half sketch so select the line tool and when you select the line tool under the sketch palette you see line type there is a construction type so select this construction type and draw a vertical line like that and then when you click second time click it will be activated like that you just go here and press select to be active this line command okay now this is the reference line for us we will draw a half sketch on this side and then we mirror it with the reference of this line so again select the line tool and go to palette uh, sketch palette and under the line type uh, deactivate the construction now move move your cursor here drag this point go to this point this origin then drag it like that and here i am going to start my sketch so draw a line and you can see the automatic relation is already uh, here the parallel relation is adding and if you don't want to automatically add a relation you just press the control on your keyboard it will not act, uh, automatically add a relation but for me i am going to add this automatic relation like that and click now move your cursor here like that and draw an other line and then move above on the ups upward and draw another line then move here and draw horizontal line then move in lower direction and just track this point and draw a line like that and then move your mouse here to end the sketch on this line so the the last point coincident with this reference line just like that okay and next select this point and draw a line like that and then press here on select to deactivate this and just drag this point now you can zoom in and zoom out so this is the sketch just a rough sketch now we are going to add the dimension and the other remaining constraint okay now select the dimension tool and define the dimension so from this side in this dimension we needed 3.5 divided by 2 like that and when when you added this dimension you can see a change here so if you like that just drag these points like that and now add this dimension is 3.5 divided by 2 okay and this is the first dimension we just added now uh, add the dimension select this line and this point this line and this dimension is 3.5 okay good and select this line and this dimension we have 1.25 like that okay and the same way we are going to look for the other dimensions and from this point to this point we have the dimension 1.75 divided by 2 we are adding a half dimension because we are making the half sketch on this side okay and from this point to this point this dimension is 0 0.75 and divided by 2 all right and let's see which dimension is remaining which we can add it and this one this dimension select this line and the dimension of this line is 1.5 okay 
and we know uh, this point uh, this point and this point these two points are facing each other so just like that and just drag you can drag it like that and add a relation select horizontal vertical and select this point and this point to add a relation between these two points are horizontal relation so these two lines are facing each other now okay now we we make this half sketch and we are going to use the uh, mirror command so go to create expand this and select the mirror and here on the mirror first we have to select the objects which object we want to mirror it so select all of these lines then move pair on mirror line select it to activate this mirror line and which is the mirror line uh, to mirror it this line now you can see the other half is on the other side and press ok and our base sketch is done finish the sketch and click on home now we are going to use the extrude command so select this area under the profile select it activate this profile and select this area and you see a arrow here drag this arrow and we have to specify the distance here on the distance to define this thickness of this sketch so you can see this is the first sketch we just added it the base feature now click here on create sketch we are going to add a sketch here on this side so select it okay next we have to draw a two point rectangle so the first point is coincident on this edge and place the second point like that and just define the dimension of this uh, rectangle so from this side to this edge this dimension is 0 0.75 and the same way for the other side so this one and this one this dimension is 0 0.75 and for the height we have to uh, define this height so from the upper side this one to this side it has the dimension of 1.25 1.25 and finish the sketching now we make this sketch next extrude this sketch select the extrude and under the properties of extrude under the profiles activate it and select these areas these two areas these two profiles which we want to make the cut so operation we needed the cut operation because we want to cut the material and you you see the arrow is in the wrong direction we have to change it on the other direction like that okay so it's making the cut and here under the extent type we can also specify the distance or we can simply select all so it will make the cut through all the material and click ok now we have this material is removed okay so i think we have a mistake here because we are also removing the material from here which we don't have to remove it so let's see what is missing okay So, I think there is no material. The sketch is correct. Okay. Now, create the sketch on this face, and we have to make a rectangle like that and then define the dimension. So, from this side to this side, this dimension is 0 0.75, and same way from this side to this side, this is also 0 0.75. Okay and now we have to define the height so from here to here this point this is 0 0.75 okay and next we have to draw a circle so select the circle and we have to make the circle in the midpoint of this line so when you move your cursor on this line just uh, move it in the middle so you can see a, a 
automatic midpoint relation is activated so just draw it here like that or the other way is that you just draw a circle like that and then use the midpoint constraint activate this midpoint select this middle and the center of this circle and then this line so it will make a point uh, the midpoint relation between the center of the circle and this line and then define the diameter of this circle its diameter is 2 okay and next uh, we can cut this this one this one and this one we just remove it using this trim tool and finish the sketching now go to extrude and under activate this profile select this profile and this profile we want to make a cut uh, and the direction is not correct so change the direction in other side and make sure the abrasion is cut and under the extend type just select all so it will remove the material press ok so now we make this step next again create the sketch and this time select this face ok and now we have to make a cut so use the rectangle tool first point on this edge and the place second point like that and then we have to use the dimension tool so from this side to this edge this dimension is one inch and same way for this line and this edge this dimension is one inch and we have to see the this height select this line and this height we have 0 0.5 okay finish the sketching and then remove this using the extrude for the profile select this area and the direction is not right to change the direction and under the extend type select all click ok and we completed this feature again create the sketch and this time select this face and then just zoom in and zoom out and now we needed to uh, project this edge so go to create expand it and we have to project this edge so project include select the project and under the geometry select this edge and press ok now this edge is converted into a sketch again select the circle and same way we have to find the midpoint of this line so go here on this edge on this line we which we just projected and you can find this center or the other way is that just randomly draw a circle and then use the midpoint relation so i am just using the circle tool move here on this line and to drag the drag this midpoint relation and draw a circle like that then define the dimension so the dimension is given in radius 0 0.5 so the diameter is 1 like that finish the sketching and just use the extrude tool and under the profile select this area and also this area and now we needed to move the direction in the other side but when we are moving it in, in the other direction it's cutting the material so change the operation to join and here we have to specify this depth so for this depth it's 0 0.5 so type it minus 0 0.5 and we are done and again create this sketch on this face and zoom in and zoom out and now again draw this center rectangle uh, sorry center diameter circle and same way go here on this edge and try to find the center of this circle and draw a circle like that the other way is that just place the circle here then use the uh, concentric relation expand you can also expand the constraint to see the other constraint types of concentric select this circle and this edge of the arc and it will be uh, add this relation of concentric so the center of this and the, this circle is coincident and dimension this circle is one sorry this is the 0 0.5 diameter finish the sketching and now we needed to cut this one so extrude it under the profile select this hole the circle and change the direction like that and we just have to make sure it cutting cutting this area from this side so just we can say minus 0 0.6 like that 
okay now we have this tab and this hole we needed it in the other direction we can use the mirror tool so expand the create and select the mirror and under the object types we which thing we want to mirror it we want to use the features so object type we have to select this this tab and this hole these two features which we did and under the mirror plane click here and we have to select a plane around which we want to use the mirror so select this right plane so in the preview you can see it's mirrored on the other side press ok so this thing is done so now our design is uh, completed you can see it um, all this stuff is done uh, we we uh, first we make this this whole feature uh, if you go here under the timeline you can see this was the first feature then we make a sketch then cut this one then make a sketch then cut then cut then edit the material then make the cut and then mirror it so under the timeline you can see all this step we just perform so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe channel